this video we're going to do a downgrade from Windows 10 back to Windows 7. If you also did the upgrade with the upgrade tool to Windows 10 and you found out that your system is maybe too slow and or maybe for some other reason you want to go back to your previous state well then you can downgrade back to Windows 7. So let's see how a downgrade will go and what the things are that we uh, will have to deal with. So let's jump into the computer and see how that goes. Okay, there we are, the blue Dell. And then running Windows 10 build 240 activated. And uh, yeah, in fact, I don't have to do anything. I can just leave it like this, but uh, yeah, I just want to uh, downgrade back to Windows 7. So let's see if we can still do that or if that possibility is over and done for us. We will go to, I think we must go to, let me see where we should go. I think to recovery. If you go to recovery, you will see up here that we can download back to Windows 7. So let's get started and let's see if this will work. Things getting ready. This won't take long because it took really long to, uh, to install. And let me show you some specifications here because yeah in fact it's really busy now i cannot i don't have no memory left yeah easy easy yeah take a chill that's good take a chill all good and i just get uh one dollar oh really collapse he don't you guys don't believe me about the one dollar laptop eh? well you know what it is there was a dump sales and somebody that i helped fixing his laptop he told me that he bought i think five of these laptops eh, for five dollar one dollar each so you know i got this laptop from anthony uh, who also got it locked he bought it but after afterwards i asked him how much he paid he paid only 10 bucks for this machine so it had no adapter, it had no hard drive, and it was locked. <laughs> so we unlocked it and, you know. Here, uh, who are, why are you going back? Um, um, test. What you need to know, this might be, this might take a while and you won't be able to use your, your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. After going back, you have to reinstall some programs. You lose any changes made, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So let's go back next. Don't get locked out. Thanks for trying Windows 10. Goodbye Windows 10. It was nice. Go back. So it's gonna restart. And then it's gonna get this baby back to her original Windows uh, 7. This thing has a CD, yeah? It did not come originally with uh, Windows 7. This was installed with a genuine CD with its own key. So in fact, you know, I can I can format this machine again and install it again, you know? But we're just going to do it this way so we can see if if it will work and how it goes and <laughs> how it will be. Because none of my machines I brought back to Windows 7. Because I find it uh, useless to do that. If the machine can run Windows 10, then in fact there is no... Uh, going back eh? 
So there they go. This is a process that uh, is showing a black screen, moving the mouse. You see the mouse there? It's kind of really busy. We can also take a take the time to uh, take a look at this uh, beautiful laptop. <laughs> the one dollar laptop that you guys collapsed. Well, I think you don't want to pay even more for it. Of course, the adapter and things like that. If you must buy them new, you see I painted her. This thing looked really awful. It was ugly. Attempting to recover installation, restoring your previous version of Windows. So that is cool, eh? That that was built in, right? So we can just go back to, you know, to the previous state of this machine. It was faster than me, people. It was faster than me, the reboot. I could not really film the reboot, but it just rebooted and we see our old uh, logo of Windows 7 again. And it really works, as you can see. It's really cool, you can go back. So if you had Windows installed, Windows 10, and you're not really happy how it runs on that system. Maybe your system is also not so strong as, you know, just like mine. Then you can um, safely go back to Windows 10. I'm gonna uh, come back one more time to you if this is done. Enter back, people. And uh, it did change my icons back to original. And uh, let's see if my system is still genuine, because it's all about that, huh? It's about my system being genuine. We must wait a second. It's getting the info. Properties. still busy setting up the system a little bit <coughs> there you can uh, see it my machine is still uh, genuine and uh, totally nothing wrong with my system and uh, we're back to original so yo peeps only thing I can see real fast that it removed is uh, I think I'm not sure if I had my rocket dock installed. I'm not even sure. It changed my icons. I had a Windows uh, Windows 10 icons. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna make a video about um, <laughs> about pimping seven up to the look and feels of Windows 10. I think that will be the best for this machine. I think this machine should uh, just chill down and uh, <laughs> not be on Windows 10 just because of the low specifications. The thing has a rating of one. <laughs> I mean, like, who wants a machine like this on Windows 10? Well, it did it proudly. And uh, I say thumbs up to this fantastic old Dell. Well, peeps, that was it. Uh, it was really easy to downgrade from Windows 10 back to Windows 7. It did change some little things around, like my Windows 7 or Windows 10 icons and some other little things that I will have to go and see. But uh, I'm all cool with that because I have my Windows 7 genuine system back the way it was. That while I even had a little experience uh, with Windows 10 on such an old machine we could make for historical purposes we could even make a video about it and you know that really makes me happy on this Sunday what is it evening very tropical evening here in the Netherlands balcony doors open and 
the birds are still on the balcony eating some bread that I put there for them, making me happy. So peeps, I hope you're also happy out there. You see, you have nothing to lose. You can do the upgrade to Windows 10 and see for yourself if it works out for you. But uh, make sure that you're on a better machine than the one that I used in this video. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe.